What's up plant friends, Carlson Simon here. Welcome back to Plant Bang and to another plant video. So today I am going to review two of my most beautiful purchases from Etsy, from a plant shop that I came across. And we are going in, gonna talk about it, all hands on deck, let's get started. And of course I have my newspaper here so I don't make a mess if it's a little loud. I live in San Francisco, so the cars are like right outside. To hear any like TV sounds. Um, my grandparents are watching the Filipino channel. Cute. And then also I'm wearing a mask because I live with them and we are in the pandemic and I want to be extra careful, extra safe. If you hear my dog bark, he is right over there watching me. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm very picky where I buy my plants. I have to see it. I have to look at them. I have to examine them and I have to make sure that they are in amazing condition. So when I shop on Etsy, it takes me forever, like forever to shop for a plant because I'm, I not only do I have to look at the reviews, I have to examine like what they're selling, if they are legit shop owners or legit plant sellers. So during the holiday, I wanted to treat myself with a really beautiful plant and if you know, a Monstera Thai constellation is one of like the most sought after plant out there. They're so expensive, so hard to find, and you have to make sure that when purchasing that they are in amazing condition, the roots are great, and the grower is not going to scam you. So there's, you can barely find any here in San Francisco, and I went to, on Etsy and Mind you, this was gonna be my Christmas gift to myself. So I was on Etsy for literally like three months before Christmas and I was searching, 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 looking for the perfect Monster Thai constellation. And you know, it's hard purchasing on Etsy because you never know when the product comes if it's the exact product. So when I came across a shop on Etsy called Aeroids Apartment, based out of Florida, I looked at the product all the reviews and the plants looked amazing and you know I was taking a risk on this purchase and when I got the plant let me tell you it was literally insane so like I said this was my Christmas gift to myself and I saw the most perfect Monstera Thai constellation on Etsy from Aaron's apartment and I had to have it let me tell you, it was an arm and a leg, but it was worth it. And if you can see, she is right here, right behind me. Let's go bring her to the stage. Okay, guys, hello. Welcome to the show. My Monstera Thai Constellation from Aerid's apartment on Etsy. Okay, rule of thumb. Usually when I buy my plants online, um, I have to make sure that the roots are great and healthy. The leaves are looking lush. There is no signs of like the plant dying. Okay, so when I got this baby in the mail, first of all, shout out to Jacob who runs Aaron's apartment in Florida. He not only packaged the plant beautifully with the heat pack that I added, he really took care of the way the plant was going to ship to San Francisco. So I always order express shipping because I don't want the plant to, to stay in like the facilities or the truck for a very long time. Mind you, they're very expensive plants. So you might as well pay the extra, the extra money for the express shipping. I also bought a heat pack to go with it so that she is nice and warm in her travels. This place, Aerid's apartment, they patched it so well. Literally, the pot was, you know, there was like little fluffy cotton covering the soil. It was taped up beautifully. The leaves were wrapped up perfectly. When you open the box, it was just in pristine condition and it came in one piece. It was beautifully packaged. And I knew that moment that this place was going to be legit and I'm going to keep coming back. So when I got it, First and foremost, I examined the roots. That's the main thing you have to do because you don't want to just open it, let it sit there, not knowing how the roots look. So I literally opened her up, checked the roots. 
They were white, they were firm, they were beautiful, they were healthy. You always have to check the roots. I had a really bad experience up from, from my first purchase on Etsy and literally it was the worst experience. I didn't realize that the roots had root rot and then when I opened or uh, when I and then when I took it out of the soil, there was literally two inches of styrofoam and I died. I don't know why people use styrofoam. I don't. It literally <clears throat> does not drain well and it causes root rot. It's just not a good idea. Like, who does that? Like, so rude. But anyways, let's take a look at this plant. Look at the variegation. Amazing. Just gorgeous. Fenestrations are there. This one's a new leaf that just came out when I got it. Of course, right when I got the plant, I staked it so that the stems are trained and that they don't move and they're stable so they don't, you know, get damaged. But it's gorgeous. It's green. It's beautiful. So healthy. This place, Arid's Department, definitely takes care of their plants. Now, I repotted her after two weeks because I wanted this particular plant in a more chunkier soil with orchid bark, um, Addison charcoal, sphagnum moss, heavy perlite, and then also worm casting. So it's like a slow fertilizer and I wouldn't have to use liquid foot fertilizer on this baby, but how gorgeous, how beautiful. Oh my gosh, look how lush she is. She has been healthy since I got her. Haven't had a problem. It was just raining the other day, so I put her out in the rain for an hour just to get that oxygen. And if you're wondering about the pot, I got it from Succulents on Cortland here in San Francisco. But this beauty is doing so well. She is one of my prized possessions. And I literally talk to her every day and I look at her and make sure that she is healthy. She is next to my humidifier every night just so she is like feeling that humidity, getting that moisture. And then once she starts getting bigger, I'll attach a moss pole just so she can thrive, look beautiful. I don't know, I'm gonna tilt her, but if you can see my soil, it's very chunky, super chunky, because this plant loves chunky soil. And then also, she's a really slow grower. You have to be very patient and just let her do her thing and she will grow. And I think there's actually like a new leaf coming like in here and I'm so excited, but amazing. And again, amazing customer service from Arrow's apartment. Definitely recommend them. And I have so many plants that I like, is on my like, I hearted on Etsy from them, but I'm not gonna tell you because I don't want you to get it before me. But anyways, so that is one of the babies that I purchased. I'm gonna put her here first. And then recently, if you follow my Instagram, which is called also Plant Bang, I post all of my plant pictures there. And uh, I think it's gonna be three weeks now, but three weeks ago, I ordered another plant from Arrowhead's apartment. And here she is. She came about a week and a half ago, but hello, hi gorgeous. This is my new philodendron gloriosum. Again, how do they even package this in the box? It's just in pristine condition. Like every leaf was like wrapped beautifully and- Oh my God, my fog was just came out. I just said beautifully. <laughs> it, was, it was packaged beautifully and really well taken care of. As you can tell, so the plants, they come in soil. Chunky soil. This one was in a chunky soil, so right now I'm letting it acclimate because the weather here in San Francisco is very different and we're still in winter and it's different in Florida. But since the soil is chunky, I'm going to keep her here, let her acclimate, and then come spring, I'm probably going to repot her in, in you know, a chunkier soil. But hello, new leaf, new growth. This just opened up because this was actually closed when it arrived. And hello, look at this one. Another new leaf coming through come through honey come through but how beautiful is this plant look at how big the leaves are it's as big as my face beautiful heart shape perfect for valentine's day 
look at the veins gorge and again I stake the stems just so they're secured and you know once they start acclimating they'll get their like stiffness and energy back I have I think I have a east facing window west facing window so this loves bright indirect light same with the monster type constellation my window is very big so there's always amazing sunlight throughout the day this one right when i got her she quarantined for a week away from the other plants just because you want to be safe and you want to make sure that you're not bringing in other you know pests or any sickness to your other plants so this one's been acclimating However, next to my window, the leaves are actually going this way. So I'm going to rotate her soon. But yeah, amazing. Look at that beautiful plant. I can't wait to get another one from Aerid's apartment. I'm not going to tell you again because I don't want to tell you because I don't want you to be the first one to get it. But anyways, beautiful. Soil's chunky. The roots. So I actually like put my finger in here and I, you know, press the roots. Make sure that they are firm, healthy, um, no root rot. But beautiful. O-M-G. Hello. Let's put them next to each other. My two main babies. Oh my god. Can you see me? Can you see me? But yes, if you're looking for an exotic plant, 100% recommend Arid's Apartment on Etsy. I will have their link below. If you like these babies, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.